The South Carolina Aquarium, where the powers of air and sea meet. Boeing has just granted a multi-million dollar gift to help grow the center's educational efforts. Well, joining us with more on a fundraising push is Brian Thill, Director of Education for the South Carolina Aquarium. Well, congratulations on $2 million. Not every uh, day that people get that kind of a gift. Not bad, right? Yeah. Not at all. We're, we are super grateful to Boeing and their contribution, which will really help us, you know, um, bring our vision to life. Our, our vision is connecting people with water, wildlife, and wild places, and, and to have that momentum uh, to, to acquire that facility and do the educational things we yeah. do is, is pretty awesome. Tell us a bit more about this educational facility. Who's it for, and, and when do we see it actually being implemented? I know you still have a little bit more money to raise, which we're gonna talk about that. Mm -hmm. You got a plan, build, all that good stuff, but what do you see as the end goal? Yeah, this, this building, it will, will stand alone, you know, uh, just down the harbor from the main aquarium building, and the focus will be education and a number of different audiences that we'll be able to serve there. Mm. One in particular, one that was sort of the first that came to mind of the, in this project was our, was our school children throughout the state of, of South Carolina. Currently, we serve about six or 7,000 students a year through wow. free programming where they, they come down to the aquarium for, for a field trip and curriculum-based activities. Sure. But we get applications that represent 20,000 kids from the state. So, you know, we're, wow. we're turning away a number of kids uh, for this program. And right now, we've got two classrooms. This will allow us to expand to four and then some. So it's super happy to serve yeah. that audience. We're working with teen, teens on workforce development and, and really exposing them to different science professionals in our community. We've got a Holland Lifelong Learning mm -hmm. uh, program that focuses on adults coming together for science. Sure, so so yeah. this can be that, that centerpiece where those different audiences come together. There's, there's members, there's visitors, right. there's, there's but, a number of community members. The as whole well. point, though, of, of putting something like this in Charleston is really to get people educated on uh, just understanding the ecology in which we live right absolutely and, and protection uh, to, to preserve the environment absolutely yeah it's it's looking at the state from the mountains to the sea and, and learning about what lives in those different sure. environments and ecosystems and and what our role is in in those environments and ecosystems yeah. and that's why we reach out statewide for for this program absolutely so. so so there's a last fundraising push so how much more money do you need so how much do you have so and how much more do you need? yeah so right now it's seven million dollar project we're at the six mark, so uh, yeah. one more, one more, Someone yeah. Has a million dollars on their hands that's just burning a hole in that's their right. pocket. Yeah, this is where you send it. <laughs> great, great time if you're a corporation or an individual. Sure. you know it's December, so yeah. Yeah, and then the planning stages come into play, and then you start building. Yeah, currently we are in the in the planning stages for this. So great. working with our architects, um, you know, one of my roles will be seeking out community members and looking at additional program. How can we how can we partner with other community members? Sure. Maybe it's reading partners, maybe it's Charleston Promise neighborhood, maybe it's different conservation organizations Absolutely. locally. But again, a place where we can all come together and, and we can talk science. Yeah. And, and but do it in a classroom that is like right next to the water. Absolutely. And water's water's good for us. Water's you gotta touch it, us. you gotta smell it, you gotta feel it, you gotta know what exactly. it is that you're learning about. Uh, exactly. Thank you so much for coming on, sharing that. And for people who want to donate, where do they go? Just go to the aquarium's website? Yeah, the website, scaquarium.org backslash support education. Okay, very good. So within, I would say, two, three years maybe, we're gonna see this? Yeah, actually we, function? Yeah, we plan to open in 2024. So okay. fall, oh. fall for school groups, uh, 2024. Oh, fast track. So, All right, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. All right, well, That's thank good. you so much for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely. We're back in two minutes.